So we've been building this site and I made a custom header for the top of it up there, but I don't even own that domain. So right now people would have to type in everything that you see up here to actually get to my site, which is a little bit tricky. Now you can shorten that URL. There's lots of things you can do. You don't have to purchase it. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to buy it. Maybe after a year, I'll just fold it up and let it go to somebody else. But I want to show you the process to go through to get to that point. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to search through Google domains and see if the site name that I'm interested in that I've already put at the top there exists. And I have how to Google sites. I'll search that. I also use GoDaddy. In fact, I use it for the majority of mine, but I chose to use Google in this example because we're putting all the Google products together into one. Um, and this will tell me if I can indeed use that. And look there, it says how to Google sites.com is available for $12 a year. I think I can do that for a year, at least so people can learn how to run some of these sites. So I click on this. I'm going to fast forward through this for you. But I'm going to go through the checkout and see how it works. So I've purchased the domain for $12 a year and Google gives me all these options when I'm done. But all I want to do is forward it to the site that I already have. So I'm going to click down here to forward. And I already do have a site that I would like to use with that. That's the one I've been using over here. I'm on my home page as you can see. I'm going to copy this, go back to my Google domains and I'm gonna drop this in here. Let's see if we can do the forward. So it has found the site that we just made and it has been forwarded. Sometimes this takes a little while for it to work. So now if I go back and check, let's try it. www.howtogooglesites.com It'll pop up and here's our site. Now, we can also remap this to a different one. That's another tutorial I'll have to show you because you can do that in GoDaddy. You can do that with the Google Sites domain registry with lots of different ones. So I'll kind of have to put together a different tutorial for how to, to get that done. In case you don't want to see this, you want to see www.howtogooglesites.com up there at the top. But this will help you get that URL that it's uh, that people can remember and easily navigate themselves 